Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you the exact way you can change your web browser. You may have a web browser like Microsoft Internet Explorer and you want to change it into Google Chrome or Firefox. Or you may have Microsoft Edge and you want to change it into Google Chrome or Firefox or any one, any of them that you need. Uh, sometimes you should consider changing your web browser depending on the program or the software you're using because not all the programs or software uh, are supported by any web browser like Microsoft Internet Explorer or even Microsoft Edge. Uh, for example, here, I can show you this page right here. Uh, I wanted to log in into Blackboard and I couldn't log in. This is the, the page that I found. Sign on error. Then to fix this, I have to make sure that the browser that I'm using is Google Chrome or Firefox. If I'm using another browser so I should change it first into Google Chrome or Firefox if not I won't be able to fix this problem so that was just an example now to change your browser you go to start start button and you go to settings you're just looking for the default apps and here default apps and you check here default apps and then you can look for your web browser here is google chrome since i have google chrome and i like chrome i like google chrome because it is very uh it support most software most programs so is the for me it's like the recommended one and firefox is also very good and if i want to change this i click on it and it gives me the list of the browsers that i have already installed on my computer so in case i want to change it into firefox do so i click on firefox here and i have firefox as my web browser and then it's okay i can just close this and then since i have already installed firefox so i click on firefox and i have firefox now as my web browser this is firefox okay and the one i was using before it was google chrome which is this one this is google chrome and I can still use it okay but it's not google chrome now is not my my default browser okay because i change it into firefox and i can work on firefox too now if i want to change firefox i do the same process i go to default app settings for some people it may not be or for some in some computers it may not be settings it may be control panel And I go to app, default apps, and I have it here, Firefox, and I click on it first, and I click on the one I need to use, which is Google Chrome. Before, since Google Chrome, usually people need Google Chrome, it's not the one that you you will choose. Maybe sometimes you choose it, you, 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 you can use Firefox, but usually, you know, Firefox and Google Chrome are the winners. But let's see that we have Microsoft Edge. Okay. We have Microsoft Edge here. If I have it as web browser, so I can use it. Like here, I have the Microsoft Edge. I go to Microsoft Edge here. I open it. Okay. I can do anything I want with Microsoft Edge right here. Okay. This is Microsoft Edge. I can work using it. Okay as my default browser. 
but since I don't want it, okay, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I click on it and I choose my gold comb back, which I like. And now I have Google Home. And then I can just close this. Okay. And this page is Firefox. And then now I open my Google Chrome pages. Okay. So I can continue doing my work. If I want to use Firefox, I can still use it. But Firefox is not my default browser. Okay. I can still use it. Like this page is Firefox. Let me close it. I close Firefox. Okay, if I now if I want to go back to it, I click on it, Firefox. Okay, and I have it here. So Firefox is very smart. Guess what? It asks me if I want to use it as default browser. If I say yes, I can say not now if I don't want to, but if I want, I can say yes, and it's gonna lead me to the web browser page here. And then I click on it and I choose here Firefox, okay, as my default browser. Since I don't want it, I just click on it back and choose my Google Chrome. Okay, now I have Google Chrome as my default browser. That's the way you can change your browser whenever you want. So once you know it, you can find out that it's very simple. But when you didn't know it or when you don't know it, so it's very difficult. It can give you headaches sometimes, you know. It can give you headaches sometimes because you just don't know it, okay? I had to take time to learn about it. I didn't know it before. So I find it very important, especially nowadays people are using uh, laptop computers a lot for taking online classes. So using online softwares, you know. So I think it's very important. That's why I share it with you today and i believe that it will be useful for you please subscribe and be ready for the next video thank you